Well, hi guys, welcome back to Spare Rooms. Emma again. We've sort of got a few jobs done. Where were we last time? We were pulling this apart to paint it, and we've put an oil hole in there. And we've got an assortment of bits. There's a cylinder and a valve plate, some screws, and the adjusting uh, the, the tension screw. We've got a crankshaft. So the next part we really need is this piston and big end and con rod. This is just brass, it's got a bit of a groove in here. Um, probably just to hold some oil really. And to give you a little bit better fit. Have a look here, it's 22 millimeters long. The six mil land in the middle, probably not that deep I don't think and bore to fit the cylinder and it's got holes in here for a press fit for a 3mm connecting rod which is cut to length later and then this, this is threaded and it's got a lock nut so pretty straightforward little job so we've got the layers somewhere near clean and a bit of brass chucked up it's the smallest or well, the closest we've got to size First job this morning was to sharpen up some lathe tools. So I cut the groove, but I don't think the camera was on, so we probably missed that bit, sorry. I'm just going to put a mark there and not part him off yet. Next job is to drill a hole a stepped hole so that we can drive a taper in there nice and tight and a spot drill So next job is to make it to fit the bore. And it wants a fraction more off it. And this is where the, the lift out tool post is fantastic. I can just lift it out and measure the, the bore and put it back in in the same pot and take another cut. And that's going to be plenty good enough. It might leak a little bit, but that's bouncy on there nearly. We give that a little bit of oil. That's not bad. So. We're going to call that piston done. I'll just part him off. So next job is to cut a bit of the right bit of stock and put I'll put it in a collet there. Make sure you take the burrs off there before you slide it through your collet and wreck it. I'm going to basically clean the end of that up with a file. Make sure your file's got a file handle on it. And this end needs a little bit of a taper. 
not very much. Next bit's to push that in there with a little bit of Loctite and lock it in place. I don't think it hardly needs Loctite on it, but we might just put a little bit on. It won't hurt. You probably don't want to rely on this in a steam engine, but... And we're going to use the way that the book says to press him together and to use that as a press. So there's the piston on the rod. It's pretty close to centric or concentric because we, we did it all in one setting so it should be alright. We put a little bit of oil on that. There's just no hole in here. That's a good fit now. So while that's drying, There's one more job, it's a little 1.5mm hole for a steam port that goes right the way through and then what we can do is set it at the extreme edges and drill through or, or, or mark through and we've got our holes in the right spot for our port so that seems like a really good idea to me. crap or muck in there. We're going to put the piston back in. In fact I reckon some soapy water and a, and a scrubbing brush won't hurt that. So we assembled all that. Next bit's the piece that connects this rod to this rod which is a little bit of quarter inch brass square brush. 6.5 mil square brass here. Doesn't matter much what it is. Just got to look a bit neat I guess. It's 12 millimeters long. And it's got a three mil hole, which is yeah, three on the radius of three mil from the from the end. Now, yesterday I was talking to the model engineering supplier and bought a heap of stuff off him. Didn't buy any of this rod. Didn't even think of it. So I've got a bit of half inch square, and I've set that up in the lathe, and I've milled it down till it's about the right size. The easiest way there would be to start with a bit of square stuff but then I've only had to mill down two sides. I'll give them a bit of a file up later and a clean up with a with a diamond lap and that'll be pretty good. Next job is to put a centre drill in this at 3mm centre height. So halfway through or halfway up and right through and finish him off with a about 3.1 millimeter drill. Actually, I think I've got a reamer for that, so. So we'll set that up nicely on center with that center drill. So now we can take this out and we can give him a clean up and cut him off and thread the end. 
So a little bit of Lanka lube on the hacksaw blades are a fantastic thing. It's I'm nearly converted to this stuff. I'll have a video up pretty soon reviewing it in a bit more depth, but it's good stuff. And on hacksaw blades, fantastic. Get yourself some. Good crap. So we charge the camera up and set that up on center in the quarter and put a little bit of a center pot mark in it with a spot drill. And we'll drill that through and tap it. Have a look, that's got about that much overlap and we're going to thread him up about 5 or 6 mil. And put him together. So there we go, guys. The last job, really, on this little engine is to find the the points at 90 degrees there and there, and to drill through there and drill the, the port faces for the pipes and another little job that we've got to do is block that hole up again which is probably just a matter of making a nice tight little plug to go in there and solder in it I think I couldn't find in the book any mention of how to do that but there's some pictures of it soldered up so I just make a little plug for that. Let's just see if we can find. Mark with our drill the widest points there, and we'll take them apart and drill them. So that's there marked. We we'll put a proper little center punch there. So there drilled through and they're countersunk on the back or counterboard on the back for the pipes and I had a bit of a closer look at this hole and it says to soft solder it up but to counter sink it a little bit before you do it so that the so that the solder covers the hole so we're going to do that so I did that off camera uh, it was absolutely painless I was expecting all sorts of hassles and I was expecting the back to come out and get too hot and have a lot of bits and have to start again etc etc a little bit of solder just a bit of plain solder no flux no nothing just running there beautifully so we'll put that in there nice and tight and let that bit dry too. So after a bit of messing around and fitting up and trying to get all this straight and bent and the valve seat all sitting nice and straight and a bit of a trial fit up we've bolted it in the engine here hopefully that'll work okay We've got the two holes drilled here. We've got to trim the pipe off the right length to fit in there on the boiler. I guess the number one thing is to make this long enough so that the burner still fits in here nicely. So you want a little bit of space in here. We've got a bit of space on the con on the end of the crankshaft, which is good. And this is going to have a a band goes over the top here. That's the next job to make. But what we might do is just mark that and cut him to length and fit him up in that hole. So a nice sharp scriber to mark that. 
I have got a little pipe cutter here somewhere. I've decided I'm not really a big fan of it. I've used it a few times. It tends to leave a burr in the pipe that's a bit difficult to get out so I'm just going to chop that off with a hacksaw now. So that's the pipe in the hole. It's another exhaust pipe with a bit of a bend in it, it comes up here. I think it should be alright just to solder it in. We can give it a bend and a twist and get it to fit afterwards. So we might find a bit of tube and put a nice radius bend in it so it points up here and fit it up in the hole. And probably let's have a go at soldering them. So this is set up for our final soldering job here. Paint a little bit of like a soldering fluid around that. And a soft little flame. And that should run around there like that. Let that cool off for a bit. We'll have a bit of a closer look. I don't know if anyone's been watching, but we haven't got a part of 13 yet. And I thought, well, I've got some drawings and a better idea for a, for a safety valve, and we might stick that in there as part 13. This is part 20. And I think we're about going to call it a day on this one. Thanks for watching, guys, and more soon.